Hi there, in this video we're going to go through SIRDs. So first of all, what is a SIRD? It's a root which when calculated gives a decimal which never ends and which is not recurring. Okay, so it's a root which when calculated gives a decimal which never ends and which is not recurring. Let's go through some examples uh, of SIRDs. So for example, square root of 3. Uh, this is a SIRD because when you calculate this, you'll get uh, a decimal which never ends. So it's approximately 1.7320508. And this decimal is a not recurring decimal. Another example is square root of 2. So if you calculate this, you would get something like 1.41421356. Again, it's a decimal which never ends and it's not recurring. One more example, square root of 5. When you calculate this, you'll get 2.2360667977. Again, it's a decimal which never terminates or never ends and it's a, it's a non-recurring decimal. So, in mathematics, wherever possible, it's neat and accurate to write your answer as a third instead of uh, using decimals, okay? So, wherever possible, leave your answer as a third. Now, rules for thirds. So, in general, the first rule is square root of A times square root of B. That is the same as square root of AB. Uh, the second rule if you have square root of a divided by the square root of b, that is the same as the root of a over b. Third rule, a root c plus b root c, that is the same as a plus b root c. And last but not least, the fourth rule, a root c minus b root c, that is the same as a minus b root c. Okay? Now, Let's see some examples of how these rules can be applied. Example 1, simplify the following and in part A, square root of 45. So let's see how one of these rules work. So back to the paper and pen. In this case, I could write the square root of 45 as, okay, square root of 9 times square root of 5 okay so in this case I'm using this rule over here that we've seen rule number one if you have root of a b that is the same as root of a times root of b okay now the reason why uh, I chose root 9 times root 5 is because firstly 9 times 5 gives me 45 and also when you apply this rule okay uh, think of two numbers whereby one of the roots will give you a whole number multiplied by root of the remaining number okay so one of the roots gives me a whole number of three okay multiplied by root of the remaining term okay which is root of five okay so as I said, root of 9 gives me 3, so it will be 3 root 5 in this case, okay? So back to the screenshot, so example uh, 1 part b, if I have the square root of 12 divided by 2, so let's simplify this, so uh, back to the paper and pen, so square root of 12 divided by 2, so let's have a go. So firstly, square root of 12, let's do this as a side calculation. Square root of 12 is the same as square root of 4 times the square root of 3, as 4 times 3 gives me 12. But remember the idea, when you apply this rule, so remember the rule that we're applying, root of a, b, that is root of a times root of b, so when applying this rule, think of two numbers whereby the root of one of the terms gives you a whole number multiplied by root of the remaining number, okay? So root of 4 gives me 2, so I'll have 2 root 3. So 
we've simplified root 12. So if I implement that in, into the problem, so root of 12, that is 2 root 3 divided by the 2 below. Okay. And I can then cancel these twos up and down, giving me an overall answer of square root of 3. Okay. So let's see another example. So back to the screenshot. So I have an example over here, square root of 12 plus 3 root 75. Okay, so let's simplify this one together. So back to the paper and pen. So in this case, I can simplify both of these roots here, square root of 12 and square root of 75. So let me call the first term root of 12 star. And let's call this second term root of 75 double star. And let me do a side calculation for star. So let's simplify the root of 12. So again using the rule, so again using this rule over here. So root of a, b, that is the same as root of a times root of b. Um, we've seen this in a previous example before root of 12, this is the same as writing root of 4 times root of 3, okay, as 4 times 3 gives me the 12, and root of 4 gives me a whole number of 2, so in this case 2 root 3. So this is the solution to star, and let's do another separate side calculation for double star, so let's simplify um, root 75 so in this case uh, root 75 so that is the same as root of 25 times root of 3 so again I'm using the same rule over here so root of a b that is the same as root of a times root of b so I've simplified or I wrote root 75 as root of 25 times root of 3 as 25 times 3 gives me 75 but also remember root of 25 gives me a whole number so the whole number of the root of 25 is 5 so it's 5 root 3 okay so let me implement these uh, side calculations into the main one so for star we had 2 root 3 so 2 root 3 plus for double star so we've got 3 so don't forget that 3 outside and root 75 is 5 root 3 so 5 root 3 okay so if we open up the brackets we're going to have 2 root 3 plus 3 times 5 that is 15 root 3 and if we, we can now add these terms, okay, so we can add these terms using uh, one of the rules that we've seen before, okay, so 2 root 3 plus 15 root 3, that is 17 root 3, so that should be the final answer, okay. Uh, part D of example 1, 5 root 6 minus root 24 plus root 294 okay so let's see how this can be simplified so back to the paper and pen so for this one um, let's have a go so root 6 I can't break that down okay so I can't break it down into root of a term which gives me a whole number multiplied by root of the remaining term so that cannot be uh, broken down um, further okay so let's concentrate on these two so let's concentrate on root 24 and root 294 so I'll name them star and double star respectively so we can't break down root 6 okay so let's do a side calculation for root 24 now root 24 we can simplify that that is the same as okay root 6 times root 4 okay 
Okay, uh, six times four gives me 24, and one of the roots gives me a whole number. So the root that I'm, that I'm um, pointing at is root four. That gives me a whole number of two. So I have two root six for star, okay? And now let's focus on double star. So double star is root two, nine, four. Now, using the same rule that we applied earlier, so remember that rule, root of a, b, that is root of a times root of b, okay? Root 294, I could write that as root 49, okay, times root of 6, okay? As 49 times 6 gives me uh, 294, and also, further to that, root of 49 gives me a whole number. So root of 49 gives me a whole number of seven. So it's seven, root six in this case. Okay? So let me use these two side calculations, uh, the solutions to those in the main calculation. So looking over here, we have five root six. So five root six minus, so minus, in a bracket, root 24, so star, we wrote that as two root six, close bracket, plus, so a plus, and double star, root 294, that is the same as seven root six, okay? And let's simplify further. So five root six minus two root six is three root six, 3 root 6 plus 7 root 6 is 10 root 6. So that should be the solution to part D. Okay? So I have some more simplification examples. So back to the screenshot. For example 2, part A, we need to simplify the following. Okay? And in part A, we have to simplify 2 root 2 plus root 3 in a bracket squared okay so in this case we need to open up the brackets and simplify okay so back to the paper and pen 2 root 2 plus root 3 squared so let's open up the bracket so in this case we're opening up 2 root 2 plus root 3 squared so you can open you can multiply by multiplying one bracket by another or you can use one of these identities for a plus b squared, okay? So a plus b squared is the same as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So you can use this identity uh, if you like. And if you apply this identity, a is 2 root 2 and b is root 3, okay? Or you can multiply one bracket, so a 2 root 2 plus root 3, by another bracket, 2 root 2 plus root 3. Okay, so either way is good. So let's multiply, so 2 root 2 times another 2 root 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, and root 2 times root 2 is 2. So 4 into 2 gives me an 8. So 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 gives me an 8. Okay, so remember, just as a side calculation, root 2 times root 2 is the same as root 4, which is 2. Okay, or you can think of it as, if you multiply root of a term, multiply by root of the same term, you're going to get the term without the root. Okay, so root 2 times root 2 is 2. Another example, root 3 times root of the same term, which is 3, that is 3, and so forth and so forth. Okay, so just one more, just to be sure. So root 7 times root 7 is 7. Okay, so if you multiply two roots of the same terms, you just ignore the roots. Okay, Back to the back to the example, so 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 is 8, okay? Uh, 2 root 2 times root 3. So we're going to have plus a 2. Root 2 times root 3 is root 6, 
okay, or root 2 times 3, which is 6, okay. And then let's multiply the root 3 by the 2 root 2. So we're going to have 2 root 3 times root 2 is root 6 plus, and let's multiply that root 3 by another root 3. So using the same concept here, root 3 times root 3, 3. Okay. So this is what we have so far. So we can simplify this further. So let's go ahead. Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11 plus and let's add these like terms 2 root 6 plus another 2 root 6 is 4 root 6 so that should be the solution to part A okay so uh, back to the screenshot so I have another example a part B so 3 root 2 minus root 5 squared. So let's uh, see how this is done. So back to the paper and pen. So over here 3 root 2 minus root 5 squared. So let's have a look. So let's multiply a 3 root 2 minus root 5 by another 3 root 2 minus root 5. So in this case 3 root 2 times another 3 root 2 so 3 times 3 is 9, root 2 times root 2 is 2, so 9 into that 2 is 18, okay? And 3 root 2 times uh, minus root 5, so in this case we're going to get a minus 3, but root 2 times root 5 is root 10, so remember root 2 times root 5 so let me put that in the corner, root 2 times root 5 is the same as root 2 times 5, which is root 10, okay? So let's multiply this term by these two terms now. So minus root 5 times 3 root 2 is minus 3, and root 5 times root 2 again is root 10. And finally, let's multiply that minus root 5 by another minus root 5. Minus times minus, be careful, is plus. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. Okay? So, let's simplify further. So, let's add the like terms. Okay? So, in this case, 18 plus 5, that is 23 and minus 3 root 10 minus another 3 root 10 is minus 6 root 10. So that should be the solution to part B. So that completes the first uh, part of the video on third sadly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be another part um, to this video. Okay, so stay tuned and I hope to see you then. Thank you.